What's up you guys? Today we're gonna find out my top, I don't know, five or ten horror movies of all time. So sit back, enjoy, and let the blood flow through your body. <laughs> Alright, so I think number 10 on my list, I know, you know what, okay, we're, we're just, we're just gonna go with five. Number five, uh, I think it's gonna be, uh, on this list, it's gonna be Saw, cause, um, Saw wasn't really what I expected, I expected the movie to be a real gore fest, and it actually wasn't, to my surprise it was a really good movie, um, it really, depended more on the psychological side of things, you know, um, and let your imagination do the thing. Uh, the, the gore, actually, the actual killing wasn't really, uh, on screen, you know. It really depended on you imagining what happens to that person, even though it's, like, in a specific chamber thing, whatever. But yeah, I, I liked the story. The story was good. Uh, really unfolded and ended, not the way I expected, but, you know, that's the way it just goes with cliffhangers and I did not watch the rest of the series because I did I did expect that it would eventually fall down into something that it's really not so I just wanted to keep it on at the first movie number four on my list is a movie called martyrs and martyrs is about a um, I don't I don't really know how to explain the movie the movie is like one big gore fest but it's about a group of people that want to um, figure out, uh, they, they are searching for a person that can endure torture without dying. Like any form of torture for a long period of time, they want to find that person without dying. And for a bigger cause, which I'm not going to spoil, you really need to find it, figure that out for yourself. But really do notice, this movie is not for the faint-hearted, really. Uh, if you have a weak stomach, and if you cannot handle the movie, don't watch it, because um, it's something different. Number three on my list is going to be, I want to, I really want to say a Chucky movie, I really do, but I cannot uh, decide for myself which one. Um, Cause the three Child's Play movies are a bit more serious compared to uh, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. I'm not even gonna mention the the last movie, but um, I think if I want to go with a with a Chucky movie, I'm probably gonna go with uh, Bride of Chucky because it's the first Chucky movie that I actually saw as a uh, as a kid, and I enjoyed it a lot. I liked the dark humor of Chucky, and I actually defined Chucky. Uh, the way that he, um, you know, the way I imagine Chucky, I, sure he's a murderous doll, but uh, I also imagine Chucky being all filled with uh, dark humor and stuff. So, you know, that's the whole thing. And that's what defines Chucky, and that's probably why Bride of Chucky is one of my favorite Chucky movies and probably is going to be uh, the third favorite horror movie on my list. And the second favorite horror movie on my list, I probably have to go with Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street. One of those two. Uh, and I'm probably going to be a lot biased towards Freddy because I enjoy Freddy a lot more than Jason. Um, reason being... I like dark humor. I really do love a sense of humor in horror movies. Um, I watch horror movies as it's a comedy movie. Like uh, these days, huh, horror movies aren't really taking themselves seriously. Uh, it's all big gore fest and depends on CGI. And I'm more of a classic horror movies person. Like I, I like movies from the 70s where they still did stuff with makeup and 
you know, it wasn't really too much CGI and special effects and stuff. And I can name a lot of movies which I love, like the George Romero zombie series. I love those movies where you can just see uh, how much effort they did on the makeup. And for example, uh, American Werewolf in London, the whole transformation scene. And of course, Nightmare on Elm Street, which just, you know, defined my favorite horror movie character of all time, Freddy. And I love the dark humor in the movies. I love the, uh, you know, the way how he kills people in their sleep. You know, like when you, back in those days, probably when you watch the movies for the first time, you don't want to sleep at all. So, and, and right at that point, I get tired. <laughs> but yeah, when you watch those movies for the first time, you probably don't want to sleep at all. So, there you go. And my favorite horror movie of all time and this is probably going to be a surprise for a lot of people but my favorite horror movie of all time is going to be evil dead 2 i mean like i said i love dark humor and what's more dark humor than evil dead 2 i like the makeup stuff and evil dead 2 really hit the spot on that one and of course the sole protagonist of that movie bruce campbell aka ash that guy is amazing. It's like it's like watching Arnold Schwarzenegger doing an horror movie, like the one-liners and stuff. And I mean, it's just completely badass. And how he with the with the shotgun hand and the groovy, just amazing. I love that movie, and I could seriously watch it day in and day out. So yeah, this was my uh, my top five horror movies. And I would like to know what your top five horror movies are. Put them up in the link down below. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Don't forget to dislike it if you didn't like it. Don't forget to watch the uh, other videos that the uh, crew brings out this week. And I will see you again next Tuesday. Uh -huh.